man DC, you rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> oh, petty. So, Brazilian singer Mick Kevin had just gotten married to his wife who was a criminal lawyer last month in Mexico, but unfortunately within a few weeks their whole world was flipped upside down because he was supposed to be in Rio just for a performance on Saturday night. And verbatim. Brazilian funk singer Mick Kevin, a 23 year old rising star who got married just weeks ago, died Sunday after falling from the fifth floor of a Rio de Janeiro hotel. The young musician born Kevin Nascimento Bueno was on the balcony of another guest hotel room when he plunged to his death in a mysterious incident that remained under investigation Monday, according to police and local media. He was staying on the 11th floor of the building but fell from a friend's room on the 5th floor, authorities said, and was pronounced dead at a hospital moments later. But there was no immediate sign of foul play. Investigators suspect that the singer was possibly trying to jump into the pool but fell on the concrete next to it. Another theory that was under investigation Monday was whether Bueno fell while trying to hide from his wife during a prank. A Brazilian model who was not at the hotel at the time said in a sense deleted Instagram story that Bueno's friends jokingly locked him in a room with several women and that he tried jumping to another balcony when he thought that his wife was outside the room. Oh wow. But in a twisted turn of events, a model named Bianca Dominguez came forward to the police and revealed that her and her male friend met McKevin outside of the hotel room and the three of them ended up inside of his hotel and had a threesome. So I guess they ran a train on her? But yeah, so sometime during while they were doing what they were doing, McKevin believed that his wife was at the bedroom door. He got scared and tried to leave. And that's when he jumped off the balcony, probably thinking that he would have landed in the pool. Turns out though that the person at the door was only a co-worker. Wow, that is crazy. But his wife is ignoring all chatter and has been continuing to honor him and making lovey-dovey posts about them. One post reads, you left and took a piece of me with you. You were always incredible. It's not fair for you to leave like this. It's not, it's not. And before he passed, his last stories was of him sharing lovey-dovey posts of him and his wife as well. And now she is still sharing some of their memories in her stories. <laughs> Aqui, ó. Ainda bem que ele voltou a falar comigo, que ele tinha me excluído de Instagram, de WhatsApp. Aí agora fica aqui, ó, se humilhando, pedindo pra me seguir de novo. Aí eu falei que é a última oportunidade, se me bloquear de novo. Você me ama? Isso é porque é muito fácil gostar de você. Fala! Você o quê? Será que dá pra parar de trocar os canais? E por que você tá dando esse show todo? Porra, nossa, Deus me deu um grande amigo, hein? Bebê quem confia, nota quem quer te ver bem. American actor Marlon Wayans was friends with McKevin and made several posts in his memory. He wrote, Fuck man, Foda, my little brother, McKevin, my heart hurts. Such a sweet, pure soul. You were like a mischievous little boy with a golden heart. You loved your people, you loved your friends, you loved Brazil. You loved your favelas, you loved life. I'm sad, bro. You had so much more to do. Who will I party with now when I come to Brazil? I love you, brother. Please kiss my mom up there, and she will hold you. You're in good hands, my bro. R.I.P. McKevin, gone too soon. To all his Brazilian fans, just know he loved you the most. I hurt with you. My bro McKevin, R.I.P. my brother. You live so hard, brother. So many laughs, so many smiles. I'm blessed to have known you. Some shit you just can't comprehend. Then he said, this is how I will remember you. Siempre feliz. Always love. Then he put this up. And just back in March, McKevin made this post of him and Marlon Wayans that says, Good morning fam, there goes a throwback Thursday of me with my brother Marlon. My brother lives in my heart, I miss my brother. That's love. They were obviously really close friends. Now, the last post on McKevin's page that was posted after his passing says, Your voice will envelop and enchant the sky. Your joy will keep the angels awake because it will never be forgotten. Thank you for all of the messages of comfort and affection for our beloved. We ask for prayers and strength from everyone. Heaven welcomes you, Kevin. Rest in peace, McKevin. Do you guys have any thoughts on this situation? We want to know, so leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com, signing out.
That's a dog.com.